Hello again, this is uh, David from Middle Class to No Class in America uh, giving an update. Some people have been asking me about how things have been going with the IRS and I'm going to let you know how things have been going with the IRS here. I'm going to show you their uh, their paperwork. Now, there's the Internal Revenue Services document. See that? This was their original levy request if I can show that properly this is what they accused me of owing before if you remember from the documentary and after the tax attorney got finished with it um, it turns out it was actually only 28,000 well they're still claiming that this is what I owe and this is a demand letter so I've had to talk to the attorney about that then I got uh, then I got this one which is an additional levy for the same amount which I also passed on to the attorney now <clears throat> this one let me see here this one is from the state of Kansas Department of Revenue if I can get that in focus saying that I owe that I don't know where this balance came from um, but what this is also a levy, but this is a tax seizure levy. This one is different from the other levy. This one says that they are going to um, they're going to come and remove everything I own and sell it at public auction. So everything that I own, the state of Kansas will take and sell at public auction. And I called the attorney about that. I sent that one to the attorney, obviously, and they got that cleared up. They have stopped that so nobody will be coming and taking everything you know I don't own anything anymore anyways because they already got me um, a couple of years ago they took everything as you know from the documentary but that's what they're gonna do they, that's what they think they're trying to do is come and take everything and they say oh well you know we don't want to have to do that and it makes me think of a story I did over on um, Penny University my other channel there was a woman who owed money on her taxes and they came and they seized her house the state did it the her county took her house and put it up on public auction and sold it because she had missed a, a payment on school taxes and she was a widow her husband had just died recently and her one of her children is crippled from an auto accident also just recently permanently crippled and they came and they basically kicking her out of her house. They sold it at public auction already, and now they're in the process of removing her from her home. And the oversight was for six dollars and thirty cents. So yes, these people, the IRS and the state tax revenue services, are absolutely ruthless. This is how they treat people. Um, and everything that they're doing is perfectly legal, but that doesn't mean that it's right legal doesn't always equal just or justice and legal has nothing to do with ethics it just means the paperwork says that they can do it now this one hold on a second here's another nice one this is an employment one they sent this to my job see they couldn't they couldn't follow through with this levy to come in and seize all my property because the attorney stopped it so they sent this one to they sent this one to my employer and it is a, a levy against my income which you know they're entitled to do but it's a 100 percent levy here's the note attached to it from the human resources department this is a hundred percent levy which means that they will take 100% of my check until that's paid off. So that begs the question, how am I supposed to pay rent or eat or anything else, put gas in the car? How am I going to get to work? That's, that is absolutely ruthless. And of course, I have passed this on to the tax attorney, but how that turns out remains to be seen. Um, I, I can't get over how ruthless these people are actually it's like you don't have 
they know you don't have any money. And most of this, more than half of all of that money that, that you see on there and everything else is interest and penalty charges. And if they know you can't pay the interest or penalty, it amazes me they get to continue to to browbeat you with it. And I talked to this one guy actually contacted me on the site and he says that he owed something like $48,000 in back taxes, some oversight, whatever the problem was. But with penalties and interest, he's up to 122000 that he owes. He doesn't know if or when or how he'll ever get it paid. And I can see that. I can see that. They, they sort of set the system up so that it's impossible for you to ever get this caught up. Unless you w win the lottery or somebody gives you a ton of cash, there's no way... To, uh, to ever recover from that. But that's that's where I'm at with the IRS since uh, some people had asked and that's that's how ruthless they are in their collection efforts. Um, I hope that, I know that a lot of people are going through the same thing um, and I hope many of them find their way through it because I don't know what I'm going to do. But that's where we are and thanks for asking and Thank you for your sentiments on the subject.